The easiest way to resolve the question of who owns something is to put it in writing between you and the other party. If you work for me, as I said before, I can give you an employment contract that says I own everything. There's another way that I can resolve that question. It's called a non-disclosure agreement. In other words, I'm not going to tell you anything unless you sign a piece of paper that says, okay, what you're telling me, I acknowledge that's your property, you own it, you're telling it to me, but you own it, I can't exploit it, I can't tell anybody else, I have to keep it a secret. That's a trade secret. That's the easiest way to resolve who owns something because I don't have to file any papers with the government. I don't have to go and send anything anywhere. I just have you and I who were talking, you and me talking now, give you a piece of paper, you sign it, I sign it, we agree, shake hands, boom, I own it, end of story. What does that mean for commercialization? Well, first of all, it means if I'm going to share something with you under trade secret, I need to share something that can be kept secret. Some things are harder to keep secret. If this is what I'm talking about, the remote control for the video cam, well, the second we introduce this into commerce, somebody can take it apart and see how it's made. So it doesn't really do much good to protect this by trade secret. On the other hand, if it has to do with a manufacturing process, uh, a way of doing things that is not done in public, it's done behind the four walls of a factory or an office, I can protect that with trade secret because nobody else can see it. Now the problem is I have to worry about leakage because you might get hired away and I'm not there to enforce the uh, trade secret. So I probably also want to have a non-compete clause in the, in the contract so that for some period of years you don't work for my direct competitors or my competitors so that I'm sure that it doesn't leak by your going over there as well. Anyways, trade secret is incredibly useful when you're developing technology. It's very, very useful for process technology and for things that you can keep a secret. The one thing to realize is if it's independently invented, nobody's violated trade secret, so they can keep their secrets secret. You can keep your secret secret. You may be owning the same thing, but there's no violation because each of you has separately invented it and kept it secret separately. One doesn't know about the other. So that's trade secret. When we come back, we'll talk about patents.